Hey, it's Jens. In today's video, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite mushrooms, the chicken of the woods, also called sulfur polypore. It is not just very easy to learn, it is also very easy to spot. It is actually kind of popular because of the texture and the taste is similar to chicken, which is one of the reasons it got its name from. When it's fresh, the color ranges from a bright orange to a bright yellow of the pores. It is a polypore mushroom because the undersurface consists of very tiny pores, which we're gonna have a closer look on right now. The pore print is white and what I really like about this mushroom is that it grows in the spring till the late autumn month. And it even grows at dry conditions and high temperatures. This mushroom, for example, was found a couple of days ago where we had 30 degrees. It grows everywhere. You can find it on all continents. It likes hardwood and fruiting trees, but basically it grows everywhere. It is a parasitic fungi which is edible in most of the situations because this depends really on the wood it is grown on. If it's growing on a poisonous tree, the mushroom also will become poisonous. So when you find it, you really need to check the bark to make sure that it's not growing on tree black locust, laburnum or tree ya. Tree you? It does consume the poison of the tree, which then make the fruiting body also poisonous. It really depends on the person, but this mushroom can also make you feel sick when it's growing on oaks, for example. So when you're eating it, the first time I really recommend to just eat small amount or cook it for 10 to 15 minutes before eating it. When you're able to consume a small mushroom without any sickness at all, you can go for the big bodies. When the mushroom body is still orange and yellow, it is a good age to eat. When it's too old, it will become hard and white. On the bottom part of the mushroom, sometimes you can recognize some bubbles, which also is a little help for identification. This mushroom is also very healthy because it contains a lot of phenol, carotenoid, a huge amount of protein, vitamin B, D and E, polyunsaturated fatty acid, calcium and magnesium. But this mushroom is always poisonous when raw, so make sure to cook it at high temperature before eating it. So if you have any question about this mushroom and identification, feel free to leave a comment below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day and hopefully see you on the next.